Hey everyone, welcome back to vMix Bootcamp. My name is Jeremy and I'm excited to get started today. We are going to create our session right now and we are going to do that by starting with our asset organization. Now, you'll download assets if you wanna follow along in the description below and these assets will come pre-organized into folders. When you download assets, the first thing you need to do is make sure they're organized. And that starts with your folder structure, which we've already done for you, but then it goes into organizing your vMix session appropriately. What we're not going to do is actually bring all these assets into a single machine because it's going to make it really hard to operate later. What we are going to do instead is create one vMix machine that is our main switching machine and a second vMix machine that is our graphics machine. And these can both have the same assets to a point, uh, but what this is going to allow us to do is have a graphics operator be able to do lower thirds and a few transitions, while our main technical director is going to be able to switch the show and focus on that. So we're going to set up both machines right now. You're going to see me first start out here, and you'll see that I'm on PBOT C here, we are using production bots. And uh, what I'm going to do is open up vMix and I'm going to create a brand new vMix session. And what I have here is a completely blank session. And what I don't wanna do is start adding inputs and going you know, file by file, importing these assets. It's not going to work out. So I'm going to go here and click on Cheesehead TV Draft. And here are, my, here are my boxes here. So since this is our switching computer, what I mostly need here are our boxes. Uh, these are uh, our mortises here. That's another way to put it. And so what I'm gonna do is come here and I'm going to create a section that says uh, boxes. I'm gonna drag these in here. And once I drag them into the red section boxes, it will automatically assign them with that. I will also want to have the background handy. So you'll see I have a background loop and background still. Uh, this is in case I need to build anything from scratch. So let's actually just do a general GFX here. So I'm going to create a playback folder here. That could be useful. You know, it's uncertain whether or not we're going to use the graphics machine to do that or not. We might just do that here. Uh, anything that's like a full screen playback, we might just want to do there. Uh, these will all be triggered by our graphics machine. I'm go back here. Lower thirds, that'll definitely be graphics. And the ticker, again, this might be the graphics machine, but uh, I kind of doubt it just because this is going to be on for most of the time. So I'm going to bring that in there. Cool, so now we have our main switch machine ready to go. Uh, and you can see I'm on Parsec right now. So I'm able, I'm just remoting into this machine. I'm gonna remote into another machine, which is going to be our graphics machine. Again, you can see this is a different machine. Keep in mind here that this is, um, as you can see, Remy PBOT A here. So that's a different PBOT. So I'm going to open up vMix here. And eventually what I'm going to do is tie these together through NDI. And what will happen is this machine is going to be overlaying graphics on top of our main switching machine on an overlay input. So I'm going to get all of those assets. So here, the first thing I want to do is create a lower thirds. So to do that, you right click here. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'll do L3 or LT here. Grab that, do Packers trade and pick. Here's what I have. I have no box and with box. So I'm actually might edit this. So I might do no box and with box. That is a important distinction. We'll show you why later. And um, what happened here is our graphics uh, designer made them with a box and without a box. Uh, my guess is that we're going to do the no box versions once our entire session is set up, but it's good to have both options depending on how you set up your session. And then I'll do with box. So who knows, you might just use either one depending on the situation. Ticker, we have that in the other one, but I'm gonna add it here as well. We will figure out later which one we are going to use. I'm gonna grab ticker one. I also have a blank ticker bar here. You can build your own ticker in vMix if you would like to do that. And full screen, again, I'm going to uh, you know, put these in here. Okay, I'm going to drag these in here. 
these are our full screen uh, interstitials that we, we put in there. And intro loop with music, sure, why not? And the bug, which I will put here as well. Okay, so now what we have is we have a well-organized session. And if, if you want, once you actually figure out what you're going to be using the most, what I like to do sometimes is go into here into a, into you know maybe the the last one the last tab that you have and create a switch tab. So for example, if you're just using these raw assets to create uh, virtual inputs or you know multi views, you might want to put that into a switch tab so you can get to those very quickly. So that's just a pro tip that you might want to use once you're done organizing and have your show set up. So there you have it. Now we have set up our graphics machine and our main switching machine. Both of them have some graphical elements to them. And once we start building uh, the session, you're going to start to click in why we organize them the way that they are organized now. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and stay tuned for the rest of our series. In our next episode, we will be building our boxes, building our mortises, for the show. So that's going to be a really good one. Uh, look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching.